Today we're going to perform a urinalysis. We're going to use a Clinitec analyzer. We're going to turn on the analyzer. Press this button. It's just going to take a few seconds for this to warm up. So while this, that's happening, we make sure that a patient sample has the patient's name and patient's date of birth. Also, we look at the multi sticks we're using, make sure that the date, it make sure that it has not expired, and make sure that on the bottle we have the open date as well. Now we're waiting for our analyzer to warm up. Okay, it's on. Now before using it, we have to make sure we clean it and clean it with a wet gauze. You wet the gauze only with distilled water. So you clean that and then you clean the table as well. Dispose of that in a biohazard bag. Now we're doing strip tests. So we select strip test. Now it says enter new operator's name, which is us. So we select that and you enter your name. Press enter. Now enter new patient's name. So we select new patient and we type in the patient's name. Press enter. Now we also press the, the number. There's a number key. We press that to enter the patient's ID, which is the patient's date of birth. Press enter. Okay, now we're ready to start the test. Take out a multi stick. You dip it in the urine, completely wetting all the pads. You blot a little bit. You blot that twice on a paper napkin and you slowly you press the start button and pl place that on on the table that takes eight seconds Hopefully this thing is straight enough. Don't touch. and wait okay now it's analyzing that urine. While that's happening, you look at the color of the urine and you're going to select if the urine is clear, is yellow and clear, you select that button. If not, you select other. In our case, our own is brown. So you select other, you select the color, and you press next. It's going to ask for the appearance. If you don't see anything, you select other again and press next. Our urine was clear, so we select next and it's analyzing. So we wait for the results. It's done. And you can dispose of that strip into a biohazard bag. So now that has happened. The next thing we're going to press is done. You press done before you take off your gloves so that you don't contaminate the surface. Okay. So now if we click on done. Now you take off your gloves, put in a biohazard bag, and you wash your hands. You dry your hands and you take out the strip your test results here are your test results which you you can put into next gen give it to your provider and make sure you record it in your lab book so that's the end of the test <laughs>